Last time on Babs Bear Talk. Okay, sweetie pie. Tell the people what's going on. I have to have surgery. I just got this alert to my phone from Facebook. It's letting me know that today is Linda Eileen Watkins' birthday. That's my friend that I just lost. Take a look at this. This is Jada's test for pseudocolonesterase deficiency. It says 84.9 with an asterisk. And it says inhibition 85 to 93. So she was a little bit low. I don't know what these numbers here mean. But the most important part of this little asterisk there is here. Phenotype reportedly associated with prolonged apnea. Essentially what that means is that when they give her um, the anesthesia, she could probably have trouble with prolonged apnea, which trouble waking up. So that's why they're going to put her on the ventilator uh, before, you know, when they, when they put her out, they're going to put her on the ventilator and then do the surgery and then wake her up successfully and then take her off of that. So um, that's the only reason why I'm worried, but I think these doctors are capable. Well, I wouldn't say worried. I'm nervous. I don't, I don't think I've escalated to worry yet. Leah, praise God, is going to go with us. And she's going to stay there all day with us. And in case you guys don't know, my friend Leah is a pastor, full-fledged pastor, okay? And um, it gives me comfort to know that she'll be there with us. I know my brother Rory says he wants to come up after work. He's going to be in Ontario. I don't know if we can see you, Jory. I'm too tall. Too tall? <laughs> Jory's going to go to school. Friday um, morning, October 14th. I couldn't think of the date. So... My baby's in the back. I caught her doing her hair, right? I'm like, why are you doing your hair? You're going into surgery, just comb it. You don't have to flat iron it and stuff. She goes, if I can't have my face looking good because I'm not allowed to wear any makeup, I'm gonna at least have my hair looking good. <laughs> Alicia Keys, did you hear us? <laughs> if you're not gonna do your face, at least do your hair. So <laughs> She's very nervous right now. Not scared, but nervous. I'm very calm right now. I was so nervous yesterday, but I'm really calm. I know how to step up to the plate when I'm needed. Afterwards, I fall apart. I've never been nervous. I think I'll be well, Joel's never nervous about anything. Don't go by his radar or his whatever, his barometer. Leah's in the back with Colin. They're driving their own vehicle because Colin has to be somewhere for 2.30. But I'm so grateful to have them come with us for this um, uh, surgery for Jada. This is Jada's first surgery. I hope it's not gonna be the first of many because they do have to do another one to take out the hardware a month from now. I had my first and only surgery when I was, well, I, I had a couple more, but um, my first major surgery when I was 18 and it was scary as heck. So I, I can imagine how she feels. <laughs> so Jada, Jada, Jade. I want to um, tell them the story about how we met Linda. Mm -hmm. So correct me if I'm wrong. We went to Hometown Buffet. It was me, you, and Daddy, right? Mm -hmm. And she was eating alone at a table built for four. Mm -hmm. And the place was packed and there were no seats available, right? Mm -hmm. And then you walked up to her and said what? I like her eyes. She, Jada admired her eyes because she had the beautifulest crystal green eyes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And then she just started talking to me and I started talking to her like I always do. Jada's the one, I'm telling you, since I've been an adult, I haven't made any new friends on my own except for you guys that I've made friends with through YouTube <laughs> because Jada's the one that finds me all my friends. She found Leah as my friend because she was Colin's friend and she goes, you're going to like Colin's mom and I met Leah and then we've been friends. That's how we meet people, right? Yep. The same with um, Louis's mom. I think Louis's mom is a friend mm -hmm. and um, that's how I meet my friends now through Jada. And I was telling Sandra this morning, Sandra that watches the show, um, that I'm not um, an uptight, obnoxious, unfriendly person, but I don't think I'm the friendliest person in public. I'll be pleasant, but like for instance, if we go to the cable company with Joe or with Jada or with my mom, when they walk out, they have their arm filled with stuff that they got for free just because of their charm and their charisma. For me, I would just get in there and get the bill paid. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> so you guys get the difference? So anyway, Sam, 
I'm glad we clarified the matter. I wasn't fighting with you. I was like, thank you, Sam. It really blessed her because when we told people she was having the surgery, a lot of the people, not everyone, but a lot of them were like, oh, they say six months, it's gonna be 10 years before she walks right on that foot again. <laughs> now, you know, I'm, I'm exaggerating. I didn't say 10 years, but they said a year and a half, whatever. And um, you were one of them that didn't say that. You were like, she's gonna recover in no time because she's young and she's healthy. And when I had my uh, surgery and stuff, I was sick and it took me a while to recover and yada yada. And that's what I was telling you, that that was a blessing for her, but you misread it. And you're like, whoever's mad at me. I'm telling you, I'm your friend. And when I'm your friend, I'm your friend forever. So just get used to it. That's how Linda and I were together as friends. She was a friend to the end. And even if we had a debate on um, religious differences and stuff, we'd still end it with, I love you, boo. And no kind of animosity and no kind of, oh, I'm not talking to you and foolishness like that. You know, so anyways, <sighs> let me stay focused, sing some songs, and um, I'll keep you guys up to date via texting. So they took her back at two o'clock and it's supposed to be an hour and a half. So that's two, three, three thirty. I think around four. We should know something for sure. We feel at peace, because these doctors make you feel at peace. She's not nervous anymore. So since Leah knows all about hospitals, because she visits everyone in them. <laughs> right, Leah? That's right. And she's been in every hospital. We feel at peace. Doctors. Hey baby. Yeah, she does. She yeah, just she's just tired. She's doing really well. I'm gonna do so see guys, all this stuff is still on my floor. Cause that truck can't come back here. It's pitta, pata. Coming down on my rooftop, coming down. Me and my baby holding tight, feeling alright. I hope it never stops. <laughs> for someone who doesn't like the rain I sure know a lot of rain songs don't I <laughs> it's 11 30 in the morning Monday morning and we're heading back home because um, Colin took Jada home about 9 45 and she called me and she told me that uh, down by her ankle, the cap, the, not, it's not a cast, it's a splint. The, the splint feels really, really tight. So I think the ankle is swelling. And I don't know if that's because she went to school today and for that hour and a half, two hours, she had her, you know, foot in the normal hanging down position. So I'm gonna go home to assess what's going on because I don't wanna sit here and then something's happening to her. And we could have taken her back to Kaiser to have them redress that and maybe loosen it up or something, you know? So, I will know more when I get there. Look how dark and overcast it still is. It's kind of chilly. Um, what do you think? What's it, what's it up there, Joe? 67? Oh, I was going to guess 67. It feels kind of like 67. <laughs> it was warmer this morning. It was about 70 this morning. Now it's 67, so I guess the rain is coming. But it's supposed to not rain when Maria and Donna are here. So I hope so because I want to deal with no rain. We brought Jada back. And we have to go over to the third building because the cast room is closed. They said they're just going to replace the splint. It's pretty much unraveling. And then it feels like something shifted that's hurting her calf muscle. Look at this big campus, guys. And look how nice the day is turning out. Some sunlight came out. Okay, yeah. So they redressed it, it looks way better already, it feels better. 
waiting for Joel to pick us up. Stretching it out, making it strong, you know, building the muscle. But he says you're overworking it. I'm tired. It's Monday 7.15. We just got back a little while ago from the viewing of my friend Linda. I'm glad I went today um, because I'm not going to go to the funeral tomorrow. Even if Don and Marie arrived in time and we got back out here in time to go to the funeral, I wouldn't go because I really don't know the people. And um, I met her mom like maybe twice and she, you know, is one of these crotchety older ladies and I wouldn't know how to approach her. Um, Joe recognized somebody that he thought would be her sister because they kind of looked alike and she was her sister. She had my mom's name, Rosalie. And I met her and she was nice. And then the son was coming as we were leaving. He's only 22, by the way, and he has a baby. And so Linda had one child and one grandchild. And I gave him condolences and we kind of bailed. So I'm glad I went to go see her. Um, she didn't look like herself in the box. Uh, Linda had like really light skin like I do like caramel or brown and they made Linda like shoe, pol shoe polish black so I don't know you know how come my mom looked more like herself and then some people look different you know so you guys saw what happened today I had to take Jada back they had to take off that splint and put a new one because I don't think the person that put the splint on after the surgery did a good job and a part of it was uh, resting really bad on her calf muscle and it was causing extra pain on top of the pain of the surgery. So um, I'm glad that the cast room was closed in building one and we had to go to building three because Jada met the nicest guy there, the technician that put on her new splint. And um, he was able to reach her where we have not been able to reach her since before the surgery, since she got injured last week Sunday. She's been so depressed and so defeated She's very um, independent, and this has taken away a lot of her independence. She relies on me to help her get in and out the shower. She really can't shower. We have we had to go get a big white bucket for her to bathe out of. And this guy showed us where we could go to this website called Zero Socks, X E R O S O X, and you could buy this boot that you put on. It's like thirty eight bucks. You put it on, so it showed in the thing that you could swim in it. You know, so she can put that on to go take her shower. And so when Jory gets in, I'm going to have him use his Amazon Prime to buy that. And um, I'm going to have to end up buying that knee scooter. So it's just taking a chunk out of all the money. It's $125, $130 for the knee scooter. But she's going to be on it for like six months. So I can't rent it. I saw some place that was renting it for $25 a week. I'm like, what? I could buy it for $125. So... I, I guess that comes in handy if you only need it a week. You know what I mean? Um, she the, the guy told her that she would do well on it, that she'd be very independent at school and she could get around. So she's looking forward to that. We're going to pick up my mom's wheelchair when we pick up Donna Marie, to, Donna Marie tomorrow. But I don't think my mom had the kind of wheelchair that you turn the wheel. I think it's just a transport wheelchair. So it has four little wheels that you know you just shove the person to to the, to the car and stuff. So... I don't know that that will serve any purpose, but we'll pick it up anyways. Um, my mom has a chair that you put in the tub to bathe, and that might help her too. She can sit on that chair and, you know, and help her out. So, because she still can't stand on that one leg. It's non-weight bearing. That's what they call it. So, um, in her recovery, for those of you that were asking, um, she's in tremendous amount of pain early in the morning, like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So, I've had to get up every morning, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, to give her pay, um, uh, a narcotic, actually, a Percocet. And then I stay in the room with her for it to kick in, which is like 20, 25 minutes later. And once it kicks in and she drifts back off to sleep, I come back to bed. So it's just like having a small baby all over again. But you know what? I don't mind. She's my baby and she takes very good care of me when I'm ill. And she took very good care of my mom. So it's her turn. It's her turn to get pampered. So I've been feeding her all the right meals and feeding her all the right snacks and so um, I'm hoping that with the right meals with the right mentality she'll recover quickly because that guy that spoke to her today the one that did the splint he told her he says we see 2,000 patients here a month and s most of them come in here worse off than you are you're going to get to walk again this is only for a season you're going to have your foot back again some of these people don't have their foot you know, some of, them, some of these people don't have their feet. Then a lady came in at the next table while she was in there because it's a big cast room. And she asked Jada what happened to her ankle. And Jada explained how the injury happened. 
and then the lady said I banged up my ankle the same way you did and I didn't take the surgery and now I'm gonna have to walk in a brace for the rest of my life so you did the right thing in taking the surgery and you will recover fully so she came the Lord worked it out where she came in contact with the right people today to sow seeds into her mind to, to let her know that she's blessed you know there was a man in there fighting with the nurse because he's all like when am i going to get my surgery i've been waiting two months for the surgery on my shoulder meanwhile it's degrading more and i'm on all these pain pills that i want to get hooked on and you guys just keep on messing up the schedule and it was like i can't do anything about it it's the doctor yada yada i'm like you are so blessed jada to even have the surgery five days after the injury so just you know count your blessings so she's in much better spirits right now and I've been giving her all of the message you guys have been sending. And I think now she's in that mentality where she's looking forward to seeing Marie and Dawn. And um, we're so excited for tomorrow. So this vlog, I don't know what all I recorded, but it's probably going to be short. I'm going to edit it, upload it. We're going to start the new one tomorrow when Donna Marie comes. And then hopefully we can have a lot more footage for us to have some fun. Thanks for watching, guys. When the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, see I'm doing it. This is very pretty. Pretty. He's, he doesn't want to go back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah.